and they're playing such a dangerous game. So from day one, if you can build your peace of mind pot, then that's great. And bear in mind, in my opinion, the older that you get and the larger that peace of mind pot gets, the more income that comes in, the higher the percentage that you can spend. So I'm not saying for the rest of your life, you need to put away, you know, 80% of everything that you make. I'm just saying at the beginning, really build that peace of mind pot. So that way you're not going into your career stressed, but instead can focus because you understand that you're good. And then later down the line, once that pot's big enough, then go spend and never let anyone tell you that something is too expensive. If you have your finances in order, if you're always putting good money away, if you want to spend $100,000 on some stupid thing that no one else gets, but it makes sense for you financially, go spend it. I really don't agree and don't like all these people that make just make all this money and hoard it and keep it and don't do anything with it. At a certain point, you need to enjoy your life. And if you don't want to enjoy your life, go spend it on your loved ones, on the ones that you care about. Let them enjoy the spoils of your work. But as I said, always keep your peace of mind pot. The next one is money is an identity. And it truly is. I'm telling you right now, you could work extremely hard, but if you have the identity of a poor person, it will always chain you. In life, you do not get what you deserve. You get what you think you deserve because what you think you deserve dictates your actions and your actions dictate what you actually get in life. You know, it's very unfortunate. You see a lot of people in abusive relationships and the reason they stay in those relationships is because they have some part of their identity that thinks they deserve it. Because the crazy thing is, after they get out of one abusive relationship, they find their way into another. So it is ingrained as a part of their identity. So you can have something that is as heartbreaking and unfortunate as that, but also from the extreme side of things, all the way to the person that just has an identity that they are not someone who is worthy or deserving of money. This is why I always tell people, go buy that $12 coffee at the hotel, go into these affluent areas and just understand that these are normal people. They move differently,